All right, guys, here's another recipe for you. This is a go-to that I love. It's a rotisserie chicken stew, and it's super quick, and it's super easy to make, and it's super yummy to eat, especially when it's cold outside. So, because it's been crappy weather in Utah, I decided to make it tonight. Eight cups of water on high heat. You're gonna add a fourth a cup of chicken base. If you don't have chicken base, you can use chicken bouillon, or instead of the water, you can uh, substitute chicken stock or chicken broth. And you're gonna mix that together um, and turn that on high heat. Add some cracked pepper and a tablespoon of minced garlic. That's just gonna add some flavor while it all cooks. And I love fresh parsley. If you wanna know about that, that self-watering vase I have in my window, ask me, I'd love to tell you about it. It's amazing, I grew with my parsley from seed. Here is three cups of chopped carrots. Um, I just cut off the ends and chop them up. I don't get particular about the size that they are because they're gonna simmer here in the enamel crock pot for quite a while and get soft so it doesn't matter if they're all the same size. Then I, I'm gonna add celery. Um, I personally love celery. If you don't love celery, you can substitute uh, different vegetables, maybe onion, maybe some corn. Um, I don't know, I'd love to hear your ideas of some other vegetables that you like to put in your stew. I just go to the, I love the, the celery and carrots. Then I get some small potatoes. They're the new potatoes. I chop them into fourths. You can use other kinds of potatoes, but um, regular bake, baking potatoes get too soft and squishy for my taste. So I prefer more of the new potato that's going to stay a little firm. Now, um, the rotisserie chicken, you know you can get those fully cooked at any pretty much any grocery store these days. This is where you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Rip off the skin, I discard the skin, I discard the fat, I discard any um, like cartilage, anything that's hardened, I just pull off the meat, shred it off and throw it into my measuring cup. And um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the cleanest thing. Your hands are gonna get dirty, but it is a very fast stew and that's why I like to use a rotisserie chicken. Um, once you're done peeling all of that meat off, you're going to wind up with about three to four cups of shredded chicken. Dump that right into your pot. And by now it should be boiling by the time that you shred that chicken. Pour it in there. Mix it all together so that it can cook uh, covered on a simmer, you're going to lower your temperature on your oven, on your stovetop, um, and let it just simmer for about 30 minutes. Uh, you can come and check the vegetables, see if they're all tender. And once they're tender, then you're good to go. Salt and pepper to taste. Um, if you're really good at cooking, you can add some different spices, um, maybe some onion powder, garlic powder, oregano. Uh, but really, with I, how I made it, I didn't actually have to add in any extra salt. It was perfect just the way it was. It's so yummy. You get some of, the, some of the chicken broth in there, some of the water that's flavored. Really good. Get a variety of vegetables, and that's it. Sprinkle some fresh parsley on top, and it's delicious.